Every good hunter knows that habitat is key to a successful hunt. If you're looking to talk habitat, Matt Esser, a lifelong hunter and DNR deer biologist, is your man. Matt's here with fellow deer biologist, Kurt Rollman, to get you ready to go. In this segment, Matt is going to cover how work done by the DNR staff in the field improves your chances, whether you're hunting public or private land. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Wild Wisconsin. I'm Matt. And I'm Kurt Rollman. And it's a beautiful day. Uh, we're out here in West Central Wisconsin. We're gonna talk about what you can do on your property, tangible things that you can learn when you're on a new piece of property or a property that you've hunted for years and you're just trying to figure out what you can do for this upcoming hunting season. So we got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. What are some tips um, that we can do on a new piece of property or something you should look for in the fall hunting season? Yeah, so generally my step one is, especially if it's a new property to me, yeah, you start with the map, you start with the air photo and you're looking at it, but you gotta get out on the land. So do your kind of background information, have some places you're gonna attack on the air photo, but actually go out and land and ground truth those spots. So have topography in mind and look for those kind of pinch points and look for any kind of management that's already been done on the property. If you just recently purchased it or if it's public land, try and work off that a little bit and just get some ideas and start looking for deer sign. Your, your trails, your droppings, your brows, um, a lot of stuff that people look at during the season but don't really take the time to look at before they get out putting their stand locations. So you, so you mentioned a pinch point. Could you explain that a little bit to us? So a pinch point is something, generally it has something to do with the, the land, uh, either topography or the vegetation on the land. Either it's two farm fields coming close together and there's just a little uh, strip of trees or shrubs, or if it's two ridges kind of coming together, something that's gonna funnel those deer, force them in a direction, and you're just capitalizing on that for a hunting spot and good stand location. What, what are some things that you're looking for? What you wanna do is you wanna look for vegetation that's eye level and down. You know, it's gonna be palatable uh, during different parts of the year. You look for some raspberries, blackberries, briars. You're gonna look for young oak saplings, all different types of tree saplings. And take your compass on your map and start looking at the vegetation and looking at what the deer are nibbling on. It's basically like you went in with a weed whip almost and you went right across and, and cut, cut that vegetation up. The more you can find the food, you can hone in on that food, the more successful you're going to be. So. If you had one spot, like one thing you're gonna focus on, what are you looking for? I like to overlay topography, so those elevation lines on there. And when I'm doing that, you can actually see the ridge lines and potentially you can see some oak ridges or you can see travel corridors and kind of spots where you think they're gonna kind of move in and out of that thick cover because the thick cover is hard to hunt. Any little bit of topography change is gonna kind of influence uh, wildlife movement, correct? You know, there, any little ridge they're gonna follow, any little uh, change in the topography of, of the land. When I'm looking at that on the air photo and I see those areas, I, I wanna make sure that that's what I'm seeing and you can't just see deer trails from the air photo. So you, you wanna get out there and look for that sign, those deer droppings and the actual trails. So I call that ground truthing. So actually confirming what you're thinking on the air photo through uh, going out on land and doing that scouting, which is actually a really fun thing to do, especially on public lands because it's so varied. You, you never know what you're gonna see. All right, Kurt, so let's sum it up. Yeah, so uh, one of the big tips that I really want people to get from this is hunting those travel corridors and using those kind of pinch points. And my tip would be find, find the food. Find the food, you're gonna find the deer. And then I think using elevation, we talked about that quite a bit, just using that for the topography. And at the end of the day, scout, get out on the land, have fun, enjoy it, and be safe. We've given you a lot of tips. The ball's in your court, get out there. Have fun and have a safe hunt. To find out more, be sure to listen to the DNR Off the Record podcast for a roundtable discussion regarding deer habitat and a whole lot more.